Welcome back everyone, it's Eric from Eric Candy. As you can see today, we are gonna be cracking open the new Champions Path Elite Trainer Box just dropped. I know a lot of people have been very uh, anxious to get their hands uh, on these things. I was able to get a couple uh, myself, all thanks to our friends over at flipsidegaming.com, which of course you can use the coupon code RAREcandy at checkout for if you wanna get any Champions Path products or anything else from their site. But uh, yeah, today we have an Elite Trainer Box we're gonna open up. Really excited for this just because of how in demand these things currently are. They're, I know they're kind of hard to find. But of course, Champion's Path is the new set just dropped. It's kind of like our normal fall mini sets, kind of similar to Hidden Fates, uh, Dragon Majesty, etc. Uh, but this Elite Trainer Box, since it is one of these like special mini sets, does come with some different things than normal. Uh, we're gonna be getting 10 booster packs of Champion's Path instead of the usual eight. We have a cool Charizard V promo card, but by and large, the rest of this stuff is gonna be pretty much straightforward if you guys are familiar with any of the other previous Elite Trainer Boxes that have come out. But one of the big things I'm excited for with this set is there's no booster boxes or anything like that. So this is really my first uh, uh, batch of Champions Path cards I'm gonna be getting. So I'm pretty excited to see what we can manage to get here. Of course, you guys know we are hunting for the fabled Rainbow Rare Charizard V Max. Let's see if we can get that. Really not sure, but we're gonna try our best. So let's see what we can get here. And also too, like I said, guys, if you do need any cards for Champions Path, you guys can check out our friends at flipsidegaming.com. And also if you need any codes for Champions Path for PTCGO, you can also check out our friends at ptcgostore.com. Both coupon codes are rare candy, all caps, one word. Save yourself some money on your Champions Path cards. All right, so we're going to remove that. We have the player's guides, kind of a staple for elite trainer boxes at this point. This kind of tells you some of the new cards that are coming out in the set. Um, you know, nothing too crazy. As you can see, there is the secret rare shiny Charizard V. I did forget about this thing, so that's definitely a card we wouldn't mind pulling either. Um, in terms of more playable stuff, I think Dreadnought and Gardevoir are some of the better V Maxes, so I definitely wouldn't mind those. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Like I said, pretty standard stuff for an Elite Trainer Box. All right. So we have, looks like, just a little guidebook for the rules. We know the rules. We don't really need to know any of that stuff. So we have our 10 Champions Path Booster Packs. So we'll get back to those in just a minute. We have our dice. And it looks like they have started going with the like TC Evolution style uh, damage counters now with the actual damage just printed right on the uh, die itself. So I do like that, but I'm probably gonna continue just to keep repping TC Evolution since they were the OGs when it comes to those things. Uh, we have the uh, Burn and Poison counters, which I'm actually excited for. I haven't gotten Elite Trainer Box in a while and I really do like these new designs. So I'm actually kind of excited to get those. We have our dividers. Um, don't really need those right now. We have our pack of basic energies. We have our Charizard V promo card. So let's show this off a little bit. I think I'm gonna keep this one wrapped up potentially um, just to prevent from damaging it or anything like that. Um, Cause I probably won't play with this card. More than likely this will be trade bait or something. So I prefer to keep it in a decent shape so you can still kind of see the texture even even though it's still wrapped up definitely a very pretty card definitely a cool promo card for them to be giving out uh, i believe we have a code card in here and also some sleeves that are of course themed after charizard v max so it's going to be those i'm going to sit all these back here but of course, guys, I mean, you know the real reason we are opening this thing up. We want to open up these Champions Path Booster Packs and see what we can get. Uh, and one thing I'm pretty sure uh, with this set is all of the packs do include a hollow, which is kind of cool. I don't think we've seen that for a few mini sets now. So I'm gonna move some of this other stuff out the way and then we'll start opening these packs. All right, so we'll show off some of the pack artwork too before we dig in. Yeah, so we got a couple of VMAXs on here and Obstagoon as well, kind of hanging out with them. So like I said, guys, I think out of the VMAXs, the big ones we're gonna be looking for, for from a more competitive standpoint, not that this set's like super competitive, gonna be Gardevoir and Dreadnought. And Obstagoon's also a cool card, so not a VMAX, but definitely a Hollow Rare I wouldn't mind pulling. 
So let's see what we can get here in Champion Path. I believe the packs are ordered just as usual here. So here we do have a Sizzle Pea, Machop, Roly Coley, Full Heal, Potion, Fire Energy, Great Ball, Absol. I actually haven't seen this Absol before. Not a very good card, but you know, it's Absol. It's still kind of cool. <laughs> Milo. Ooh, we have a Reverse Machamp, which is a rare and. Hey, we got Galarian Obstagoon. So that's what's up. That's definitely a solid holo rare pool. Uh, I'm really not sure what cards are holo rares in the set. I know a lot of these cards in Japan were just like, um, like starter deck promos and stuff like that. And they've upgraded their rarities for certain cards. Again, I'm not sure which ones off the top of my head, but this is definitely one of the holo rares I wanted to get. Um, actually, not gonna waste a sleeve on Obscoon. It's not that cool. <laughs> we'll save our sleeves for our V Maxes and Pokemon V. So that's definitely good. Um, I imagine Altaria is probably one of the like rare cards. Uh, they probably upgraded to Hollow Rare status. Assuming so, um, that's definitely a card I would not mind pulling as well. But here we have a Roly Coley, Trubbish, Vulpix. Very nice art on Vulpix there. Uh, we got Swablu, Carvana. Psychic Energy, Pokemon Center Lady, Sharpedo, Bead. Ooh, we have a Reverse Hollow Dark Energy. So that's the one thing I do like about these uh, mini sets that come out every year. They usually give us some Hollow Energies. So that's definitely cool. Uh, big question is: Is there Reverse Hollow Fairy Energy in the set? <laughs> that's something some people might be looking for. Uh, hard to say. And then we have just a Hollow Machamp from there. All right. So I don't mind our pull so far for them not being like ultra rares or anything special like that. But of course, guys, you know, we want some Pokemon V in here. We want that Charizard V Max. Uh, I'm really curious what the pull rates are for this set. I imagine they're probably a little bit higher than normal since there's not a bunch of like regular rares to take up space in the set. So I'm hoping for maybe like three ish, maybe two, maybe three ultra rares out of this box. We'll have to see. We got full heal, Trubbish, water energy. Beedrill, Sonya, Hatrim, uh, Reverse Hollow Carvana, and we have a Hollow Lycanroc. So still nothing too, spe too special <laughs> so far. All right, so here we have a Machop, uh, Nicket, Galarian Lanoon. Potion, Trubbish, Metal Energy. We have Pierce. I didn't know Pierce got a reprint already in the set. It's kind of cool. We got Bead, Lipard, Reverse Hollow, Hatterene. What does this card even do? This Pokemon is inactive and is damaged by an attack. They are confused. Yeah, probably not that good. And another Hollow Machamp. So already starting to get some repeats here. This ETB has definitely been a little bit slow on the pulls, guys. Um, we, we definitely want to see something good <laughs> come out of this if possible. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's just the, the risk you take with like sealed products sometimes. But I mean, like I said, I feel like the pull rates from these boxes should be a bit higher than normal ETBs. So here we have Ekans, Purloin, Sizzlepeed, Full Heal, Trubbish, Metal Energy, Malamar, Suspicious Food Tin, I think they made the name of this card way too long, uh, but definitely not a bad card to get. Um, we would not mind a Gardevoir VMAX to go along with this. That would be great. We got Hatrim, Reverse Hollow Scraggy, and hey, we have our first uh, Ultra Rare of the box. It's going to be Graptoc V. Unfortunately, not one of the more exciting ones that we are trying to pull. Graptoc, I don't think, is that great. Uh, I didn't speak too highly of it in our recent Champions Path set review. But hey, it's uh, it's at least a Pokemon V. So happy to take that. So we'll just sit that back there. So we're about halfway done with these packs, guys. Only one Ultra Rare so far. But again, I feel like we should be able to get at least one more. I think three is what I, realistic, like a realistic sort of um number to shoot for. But I feel like two is almost guaranteed. So we have Roly Coley, 
Kakuna, Galerian Zigzagoon, Carvana, Scraggy, Fighting Energy, Turfield Stadium, Milo, Great Ball, Reverse Hollow Rockruff, and we have a Hollow Sense Scorch. At least we got a new Hollow. <laughs> we already did get a repeat on the champ. Um, so again, if we're not going to get like any Ultra Rares, Altaria is definitely one of the other ones. I'm assuming is a Hollow Rare in the set that we're going to be after. So we have Sizzlepeep, Pokeball, Inkay, Vulpix, Potion, Lightning Energy, Beedrill, Hop, Turfield Stadium, Reverse Hollow Bead, and ooh, we have a Hollow Marnie. So Marnie is actually a good card. I forgot Marnie and Professor's Research are both in this set. That's definitely going to be good. Don't mind having more copies of a staple like this. So I think Research Marnie and Altaria, again, I'm assuming Altaria is a uh, hollow at least, are going to be, I think, the chase hollows to be going after. Oh, and Obstagoon. I did forget about our homie Obstagoon, but we already did get that one. But here we have a Sizzlepeep, Pokeball, Inkay, Vulpix, Potion, Grass Energy, Turfield Stadium, Malamar, Rotom Phone, Reverse Hollow Hatina. And we have a Hollow Zygarde. All right, two packs left, guys. Um, yeah, things are looking a little bit bleak for us. I do have to admit, like, I feel like even out of normal ETBs, I feel like you usually get one, one ultra rare. And with a set that's much smaller like this, with no regular rares, I feel like it's very, um, it'd be very unusual for us to only get one ultra rare out of this product. So here we have Inkay, Pokeball, Purloin, Weedle, Galarian Zigzagoon, Dark Energy, Malamar, Hatrim, Victini. We have a Reverse Hollow Full Heal, and hey, we have a Full Art. We have Full Art Hop. Unfortunately, Hop is a pretty bad card <laughs> in terms of its like competitive viability, but I mean, it's a Full Art, guys, so I mean, we got to be cool with it to a degree. Um, Port supporters are always sort of uh, a welcome pull, or most of the time, I should say. So, yeah, nothing too great in terms of the more competitive cards like Gardevoir, Dreadnought, or like the Secret Rare, uh, Strange Food Can, or whatever it's called, etc. But, you know, Hop is at least, I think, the the pull of the box so far, <laughs> as sad as that is. But that's, that's okay. We, we still have one pack left, guys. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get either something slightly more competitive or we can get a super good like more collectible pull like one of the charizards so lend me your energy for this one guys definitely need the help all right so here we have vulpix potion kakuna weedle pokeball water energy turfield stadium milo rotom phone Reverse Hall Kakuna and the last of our rares for the Champions Path Elite Trainer Box, guys. Lend me your energy. Hey, okay, we at least closed this out with uh, with at least another Pokemon V. Galarian Crystal V is not like super great or anything, but hey, it's better than just another uh, normal rare pull. So that's cool. We managed to like close this out with three ultra rare pulls at the very least. Uh, Galarian Crystal V is at least kind of an interesting card though has that ability whenever your opponent attaches an energy from uh, hand to one of the Pokemon, they take three damage counters. So I think the archetype Pokemon was trying to push with this was like the Arctazult deck uh, with Galarian Crystal. Probably not that good, but um, you know, cool card still at the end of the day. So with that being said, guys, I mean, I think pull rate wise, we did pretty good. I think this is like about where you want to see out of a Champion's Path box. Um, now, to be fair, I haven't looked at too many openings from this set, but just based on previous sets and how they compare to Champion's Path, I think this is about what you should expect. Uh, now, ideally, you would replace these with better cards, but in terms of the pull rates themselves, I think we did, uh, you know, pretty much right where we want to be. 
Uh, but yeah, guys, that is going to be it for this Elite Trainer Box opening. I really do appreciate you guys watching this. If you did enjoy today's content, of course, feel free to like and subscribe and consider supporting this channel as well by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or by picking up some merch from our online store at rarecandytcg.com. It would mean a lot and really helps making these more expensive videos like these product openings more financially feasible on the channel. But with that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.